Okay, so here we are. Uh, gonna play Animal Crossing New Leaf as a replacement to Stardew, because I want to keep playing chill games, so get used to it. Uh, I've set the clock back on my DS, so we have a time zone that uh, I can actually do stuff at this hour. Ah. <sighs> okay. New save file. Let me know how the volume is if there's anything that sounds off. But we'll stick with this screen until it makes sense to do the side-by-side -side view. Oh, excuse me, I have a quick question for you. It's now 10.59am on February 9th, 2023, right? Yes. It is totally that time and not a, t a different time. Oh, I was right, oh good. This watch of mine, it gets thrown off easily sometimes. I'm just gonna plop down in the seat across from you, if you don't mind, of course. By the way, you, hold it. Can I ask your name? Okay. Hello, hello. I'll just go, I'll be boring. Oh, well. Well, that's a fantastically great name. Cute, right? <laughs> cool, right? Yeah, you seem like a pretty cool guy to me. Oh. I know, right? I didn't even consider that. So tell me, where are you headed today? Okay, well, the naming convention for this, we, we've already... No. Hold on. Oh no, it doesn't fit. I can't call it Shambleton like the island. Um. Uh-oh. What do I call it? But you can't see what I'm typing. Okay. You know what? It's for the best. Right now, it's for the best. Town of all yes! Yes. <laughs> okay, but now let me be real and do that. Hmm, oh yes! Yeah, okay. Don't think I've ever heard of it. I wonder where it is. All right, map, 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 map. Let's take a look at this uh, long train line. Ah, maybe this is it right here? I'll put it back to this for now. Okay, now, now, immediately. Hold on, this layout. There we go. I mean, let me know what you prefer. And I'll stick with it. But I have all the possible layouts. I guess this is more even. A rip. I mean, this looks pretty straightforward. Let's. Just... I was wrong. Let's see. I just want to see what what the map generator does. So there's always going to be a river through the middle. That looks good. Okay, we'll go with you. I see. That's where oh yes is. So how do you get to oh yes? Oh wait, do you get to go to oh yes very often? I'm not going to do this every time. Uh, never been there. Well, today is your first time. That sounds like tons of fun. Can I ask why are you headed there? I'm moving. Oh wow, is that right? That sounds pretty good to me. But you said this is your first time here, right? Does that mean you haven't even seen your house yet? Get a place there. I see. So you're going house hunting once you get there. Heh, I guess it'll be a lot more fun that way. 
I hope you find an awesome little house and have tons of fun in your new happy town. Now arriving in, oh yes, oh yes station. Oh hey, it looks like we're about to arrive in, oh yes. Thanks for chatting with me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed a train ride this month. Come to think of it, I've been riding the rails an awful lot again lately. Haven't done this much traveling by train since 2002. Man, that's weird. Okay, good luck, Will. Bye-bye. I guess that's a reference to the previous Animal Crossing game. Welcome to Oh Yes! We hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> Look, I think he finally arrived. That's definitely the person we've been waiting for. We should probably say hi. Okay, everyone, here we go. Ready? And... From those of us in Oh Yes, welcome. Mayor, we're so happy you're finally here. Who's this Mayor? Um. Oh, come on, quit joking around. You know exactly who you are. You told us which train you'd be arriving on. That wasn't me. Oh, no, you can't fool me. Things are just as you said they'd be. All is well. There's no mistake. Teehee, you're a real jokester. Ooh, wait. Well, let's continue this discussion at the town hall, shall we? Here's a map of... Oh, yes! For your reference, Mayor Will. That flashing spot there is town hall, so let's head that way together, shall we? Alright, I mean... Preference. Do we want this view? I think let's just stick to this view for now, because it's it's bigger. And maybe one does uh, prominent use of the bottom screen, I'll swap to the other one. Anyway. Welcome to Oh Yes. Ever since I heard we're getting a new mayor, I've been so excited. Can't wait to see how Oh Yes grows under your leadership. Once you're done at Town Hall, let's meet up again. Oh, yes! <laughs> I got... Okay, I got cherries in, uh... In New Horizons, and I have cherries here. Like, what are the odds? Mayor, this town hall will be a base of operations. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention, I'm on staff here too. I'm Isabel, your secretary, and I'm here to help you in any way I can. But, if I may be frank, I was surprised to see someone as young as you step off the train. I mean, our former mayor held the position for many, many years and was quite set in his ways. But youth is a breath of, breath of fresh air, and exactly the new image of our town needs. You're the perfect... <laughs> I was going to say you're the perfect man for the job, but it's just, you're perfect for the job. Alright, of course we need to get started right away on your work as mayor. Therefore, we must complete your resident registration. A mayor should really be a resident. So, what's your name, mayor? Alright, oh, Will, duh. Okay, I have your name, and next? Oh no, this is bad. I can't believe I completely forgot something so vitally important. In order to register you as a town resident, we need your address for the form. Will, do you have a place to live yet? There aren't any vacant houses here, but you can build one. We really should have you decide where you're going to live before we proceed. And here I made you come all the way to Town Hall for nothing. I apologize for being so flaky. 
Um, on the other side of the tracks on Main Street is Nook Homes, the real estate office. Oh yes, this might make more sense if you take a look at your map. See the railroad tracks at the top of the map? Head north from there to get to the Main Street. Some fresh air and exercise would do you good. A trip to Main Street may just be what we both needed. It'll give me a chance to stay here and continue with your registration, and you need to find Nook Homes. Once you've got a place to live, please come back here and let me know right away. Get a more competent secretary. She's doing her best. Give her a chance. She's doing her best. Well, time to sell my soul. <laughs> Get into crippling debt. That's the most realistic thing about this. Alright, this is the train station. Didn't they point to the train station? No, it's across here. Maybe. There it is, no pens. Uh, hello. Welcome, welcome. You must be the new mayor, am I right? Isabel at the town hall told me to expect you. On behalf of- Oh, yes! Chamber of Commerce, I'm pleased to welcome you. So, Will, you're here today because you want to build a house, yes? Very good, very good. I can build one just about any way you want. Yes, I can indeed. So, have you decided on where you want to live? Uh... Don't towns usually provide a residence for the mayor? It seems like a scam. I mean, potentially. This could just be, like, a next level grift. Then this won't take long at all. Just take me to where you want me to build your new home, Will. Please wait. Oh, we have to be slow? Okay. Um... I mean, is it wrong of me to want my new house near the train tracks away from everyone? <laughs> Probably a bad idea. I think it should be in proximity to most things. So, I, I, I guess these are my first animal residence, is, uh... The doggo that's just experienced a bunch of injuries. This is kind of funny, because this is very similar to how I had my house in, uh, in New Horizons. Would you like to build your house here? Yep. I think here is nice. This spot is too close to the river! There isn't enough room here. <sighs> okay. How about... How about here? Hey. Yep. There's plenty of space to build a house here. And there's a river nearby. If you like fishing. <laughs> but you just told me not to build near a river. Okay. We'll need to move trees, flowers, and any buried items. We want to start building. But if you're okay with that, we can start right away. It will look like something like this. Yeah. Seems good to me. Okay, it's decided then. It'll take a bit of time to build your house, so for today, let's reserve the space for you. There we go. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Ta-da! And with that, this space is officially yours, Will. Um, including the cost of land, materials, building costs, etc. Well, the calculation is complicated, so I can't come up with that just now. I'll tell you the total later. Anyway, I'm sure you're very busy since you just moved here. Once you've taken care of things, stop by my store again to get the bill, hmm? Uh, but I suppose you still need a place 
to rest your head, right? Just give me a moment. Ta -ta -ta -ta! I'll let you borrow this tent so you have somewhere to sleep. I also put up a mailbox so you can even start receiving mail. It's a little shabby looking though. I bet you rarely see a tent with a mailbox, right? Oh, ha ha ha. Well, I'll be returning to my shop, so let's part ways here. You need to head back to Town Hall, hmm? Now that you know where you'll be living, you have to get registered as a resident, so talk to Isabel. In the meantime, I'll work out the numbers. Come by my shop again later. Thanks for your business. I do appreciate it. Yes, yes. Is that snow? Yes. I think this can't tell them in the southern hemisphere. Probably because of the time. I guess it's assuming that I'm in uh, the opposite hemisphere. So, this is not what I'm experiencing in Australia, but I kind of had to because if I'm playing this at night... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is not bad. I think this is a good spot. This is pretty much what I wanted. <laughs> So, and it's far enough away from the other villages. I like it. It's private. I wish I could invoice the town. Also, what kind of business is that where they don't even tell you how much something costs and then they just, you know, put you into it? Oh, Mayor Will, welcome back. So, did you find the perfect spot to call home? Yeah? Wonderful, I'm very happy to hear that. You're in temporary housing right now, right? I do hope your house is completed soon. Living in a tent can be very tiring. Now, about your registration, I've completed as much as I can, but there's one thing I need to know. When is your birthday? Oh, yeah. So, January 27th. Hmm, that's your birthday? Yup. Thank you very much. Please take this. This is your own town pass card. It's like an ID card that pr proves you live in- Oh, yes! We call it TPC for short. Your TPC is always kept up to date with your latest profile information. Tap on the touch screen. As long as you have it on you, you can go visit other towns, okay. You know, another neat thing you can do with your TPC is check up on your town initiatives. Completing initiatives earns Meow coupons, which you can trade for rare items over at the campground. Or if you prefer good old-fashioned bells, you can redeem your Meow coupons for those, too. Either way, be sure to check out your TPC every day to see what initiatives are on offer. Alright then, this wraps up just about everything we'll need to process your move. The last thing we'd like you to participate in is a ceremony that commemorates your arrival. Can you look at the map on the touchscreen? That place with the X is the event plaza. We hold special events there every now and then. We'd like for you to plant a tree in the square so it can become a great symbol of our town. I'll lead the way, so follow me. Still haven't revealed just how much crippling debt I'm in. Oh, there's five villages. I got a monkey. So please, take this sapling. Okay, well, now plant the sapling by hand by pressing A. Put it your heart into it. On February 9th, 2023, Will became the mayor of- Oh, yes! <laughs> mayor Will. Congratulations! I hope this tree grows just as strong and lively as- Oh, yes! All of us are looking forward to the changes you'll make to our beloved town. Mm, well then. The tree has been planted, so please relax for the rest of the day, Mayor. I have other tasks to attend to, so I'll head back to Town Hall. Please spend the rest of the day as you like, look around town, and greet your new neighbors. And if there's something you don't understand about, or yes, or you don't know what to do, and give helpful advice on living here at the Town Hall, feel free to come back and ask anytime, Mayor. Good work today. 
Am I gonna read it that way every time? Uh. You can now save your progress and end the game anytime. When you want to finish playing, press start and select and save and quit. Okay. Well, now we're free to roam, so let's say hi. Frigo. We haven't met yet, have we? Well, not formally anyway, but I know who you are, Mayo. I was at the tree ceremony. Uh, it was so inspiring. I know our town is going to grow even lovelier. My name is Frigo, and I look forward to seeing what you're going to do with all- Yes! We've met you. Hi, Will. What are you up to today? It's a great day to just walk around all yes and take the scenery and buffle, ba ba baffle, baffle, baffle. So what's on your mind? Let's chat. How do you like it here so far? Feel free to stop and talk to us, your neighbors, anytime. We're all pretty friendly here, and we'll do our best to help you adjust to life in all. Yes. And of course, you can always lean on your secretary, Isabel. If you stop by the service counter at the town hall, she'll give you helpful advice on living in this town. So you see, Will, you have lots of resources in town to help you get settled in Bafo. Bafo. I, I don't know. Hey there, Mayor. My name is Lucky. It's nice to meet you, Rouch. When I saw you planting that tree in the event plaza, my heart got all thumpy thumpy. You look like a mayor who knows how to have fun. Rouch! We'll eat snacks and drink juice and be merry and stuff. Three of my favorite things. There's two more villages. I can't believe you start with five already. Okay, well... Man, it's like I, I never left. I can't believe I got cherries as my island fruit again. I mean... I've never played this before, but the fact that I got them in New Horizons is kind of funny. I think even the flower as well <laughs> might be the same, I don't know. Money. I gotta remember this is probably gonna have inventory problems as well. Oh, it's a snowball. So I can probably make a snowman out of this. I don't think I did this in New Horizons, would you believe it? Ah! <laughs> ah, it's gone. I mean, look, this is the sort of thing that doesn't happen here, so you're going to have to excuse the novice snowball rolling. Okay, so that's, this leads to the beach. My pockets are full already. Should I stop with something? Crap, drop it. I don't have a backpack? No, what? Oh, what? You, you're kidding. Okay. Really, it doesn't do this by default? Okay. Also, 9 instead of 10. Okay. It's fine. Okay. That is, that is kind of strange. I wonder if there's a setting where I can make it auto stack. That's a little a little strange. Anyway. Okay, let's try this again. I 
I just have to be careful. Look at me go. How big does this thing need to be? This is kind of already massive. <laughs> I don't think it gets any bigger. This seems like as big as it gets. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna see if I can find another one. I gotta remember to, uh... Do the stacking. I should go see the mayor and see how much debt I'm in. This is your town pass card, or TPC for short, it contains your profile data and info about town initiatives. Anything you write in your profile can be seen by other users, alright. Therefore, please refrain from referring near revealing any personal information or offensive content. Okay. Tap an initiative, small talk. A good neighbor knows all the latest scuttlebutt happening in town, so go chat with Chat and chew the fat with five residents of all. Yes. Simply talk to five villagers in this town to complete the small talk initiative. Okay. Well, I, ha I haven't found the other two. I think eventually I will draw like a symbol and stuff, but for now, let's just settle into this. We'll do the fruit harvest and then see if I can get started on tools. Wait, that's a different one. What is this? Perfect cherry. So there's quality to it. Interesting. They might be inside the houses. So oh no! Oh, but I don't have a slingshot anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the balloons. Anacotti. Hi there, Mr. Mayor. It's me, Anacotti. You look so cool planting that tree today. It was obvious to everyone in the event plaza that you're going to be a very dependable town leader. With your help, we can really put oh yes on the ta on the map as a cool place to live, Cannoli. Oh no.
I've never had a cannoli before. I've only heard about them. I'm out for a walk. Alright, this is Frigga's house. Then the other person must be in one of these houses down here. Okay, it's not Vesta. I've already met Vesta. Flip. This is the one. I like this monkey. Oh, Maya. I'm Flip. We're going to be big fans of each other. So, that tree you planted, uh, when I saw you performing that ceremony, I had a thought. I thought, if this bro's in charge, or oh, yes, is in good hands. We're counting on you, Will. Make this town the strongest town around. Alright, it's an athletic person. Oh, Will. What you need now? Re-rack? What's new? So here you bought a house. Congratulations, you can finally start your new life. New furniture, new clothes. You probably have a lot of things you want to get, right? There's a ton of cool stuff at Timmy and Tommy's Knuckling Junction and Abel Sisters. They try to keep the latest and greatest stuff on their shelves. You really ought to see for yourself, Rerak. Yeah, I mean, if this is anything like New Horizons, I need to go talk to them. Okay. How is the twig not falling out of these? Yeah, this is surprising. Okay, another snowball. Is the big one still there? It is, alright, hang on. Alright, let me get the little one. What's that sound? Okay, slip. Hey! Wow, this is quite the supermodel figure. In some worlds, perhaps. I see you've given me a small head. No doubt to keep me in fashion with the times. However, in the world of snowmen, having a head that is too small is never the least bit in vogue. Why, you ask? Because it looks ridiculous! I wish I could have said something while I was being made. A simple too big or too small might have made the difference. But alas, I couldn't speak myself until my head was on my body. Standing all day is not as much of a chore as you might imagine. <laughs> Try it! Why don't you stand next to me and just let your mind idle for just a little while? Okay. Oh, you think I wasn't gonna do it? I'm also using this as an opportunity to drink water, so... <laughs> That's also the reason. It's not so tough. <laughs> I mean, I gave you life and you're complaining about the size of your head. Anyway. Such gameplay? I know. <laughs> I've heard people say, why do you play games where you do literal chores? Because like, it's fun. Give him more head. Alright, noted. The snowman wants more head. I want to see how much I'm in the hole for. Welcome, welcome! Oh! Will! Yes, yes, welcome! Have you finished everything you needed to do to move in? I have, of course, completed running the numbers on your home loan. Yes, yes! Now, let's discuss the cost. 
You know, well, we can't build your house unless you have all the necessary costs covered. Hmm. So the down payment is nothing more than a paltry 10,000 bells. I can't afford that. No, no, that's fine. You're fine. You needn't worry about giving me a single bell at this point in time. I'm a quite generous raccoon. My heart is about the size of a four-bedroom, two-bath duplex. Hmm. That being said, I do need your down payment before any work can be done in your home, okay? But do not worry. No, no, this town is rich in props and other resources. You'll find it easy to earn money. You can collect fruit and seashells and take them to the recycling shop to earn quick cash. Yes? Once you save up a bit, buying a net or a fishing rod at the store is a good idea as well. It is indeed. You can use such tools to go forth and catch insects and fish to sell too. Easy path to riches, hmm? Much faster than searching for low-paying part-time employment. Yes? Oh, yes, yes. So come see me right away when you've saved up 10,000 bells. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Raise taxes, yeah. Well, I am the mayor. Like, why can't I just tax everyone to pay for me? My first act as mayor is like a, a, a 10,000 bell tax. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. What's this? Could this be your first time in our humble establishment? Our store sells a variety of furniture and useful goods for daily living. As you can see, it's a rather teeny shop, but please relax and enjoy shopping. Take your time. They have a shovel and a fishing rod. Okay. I mean, I guess I need to go to the junction first. Thanks for visiting. Come again. Uh, I'll go say hi later. Wait, where is... No, but it's here. Okay, I'm wrong. That's a photo booth. Ow. Eh. <laughs> I probably should have just talked to him and seen the trading options. I don't know why I thought it was different. Okay, I'm here to sell. Our shop is currently cooperating with retail and working as the middleman to provide the service. As such, the price you have paid and what you can what we can accept might differ, so we humbly ask you to understand. Hmm, well then, let's see if you have anything we can accept. What? What would you like to sell? Oh, this is different. Also, hey, Cat Crusher. Sorry, hang on. I mean... I don't want to sell all of them, because I need some for myself. So let's just do that. That would mean, yes, I can buy these for... Okay. Yeah. Please feel free to use our services again at your leisure. We'll be here. Okay. Ah, fishing rod. A fine item. Yes, the price is 500 bells. Are you interested? Yes. Thank you kindly for your purchase. Yes, thank you for the 500 bells. So shiny. By the way, do you know how to use this item? If you'd like, I can give you a quick explanation how to use it. Yeah, probably. The fishing rod is just what it sounds like. It's a tool you use to catch fish. You cannot use it indoors, though. When you're outside, equip it from your pockets window. If you see a fish's shadow in the water, toss your bobber out by pressing A. The goal is to put that bobber right where the fish will nibble. When the fish is taking the bait, the bobber completely sinks. Press A to reel it in. The point is to quickly reel it in before it gets away. So tricky. Good luck. Okay. So it's the same. It's the same as the other one. I'll do it just in case. The shovel can be used to dig holes in the ground, bury things, and excavate items as well. It can't be used indoors, though. <laughs> When you're outside, equip it from your pockets window. To dig a hole, press A when you are over soft ground. 
If something is buried underground, the dirt will look a little different, so keep your eyes peeled. Look hard. I wonder how many people would try to use it. Bathtub paper? What? It comes in a set of four sheets. What the heck is bathtub paper? <laughs> okay, uh, let's just leave that for now. What is- what is this last one? Unique product from our shop, a fortune cookie. When you eat it, a lucky ticket sometimes comes out and you win. If you bring that back to the store, we'll trade it for an exceptionally rare, not for sale anywhere item. We are selling these for a modest two play coins. Can I interest you? I don't have any. Play coin? Okay, well. Alright, I'm gonna go dig up the stuff near the house. Microtransactions? I doubt it. <laughs> Just... I know that's the first concern is when you see a bunch of different currencies. It's like, oh no. Premium currency. Oh, cool, it has this still. Alright, yeah. Fossil. Wow, this sounds so different. <laughs> you know, I was half expecting it to make the noise from uh, New Horizons, and it just... I don't, I don't think I'll get used to it anytime soon. There's another spot, I have to find it. Yeah, this, what is this? Welcome, this is your new cat machine. If you've earned meow coupons by participating in town initiatives, you can collect here. Okay. Thanks for using your local cat machine. Okay, hold on. There's more. Okay. <laughs> Just made sure. More currency here. Well, we'll find out what it's for soon enough, I'm sure. Do this. Wait, that doesn't work. No. Oh. oh, this is different. I guess I have to get the uh, the stone cutter axe or whatever. You. You hit it with a shovel in uh, New Horizons, and it usually works. Wait, I gotta be careful not to run so much into... Okay, hang on, put it away. How do you put it away? Down. Okay, there we go. I got this. There should be one more fossil spot. I wish I had a net, I would, I would dig that out, but... There's a fortune teller tent as well, I'll check it out. But first I want to find this last dig spot. And then I'll go see Blathers at the museum. 
I can assume it's blabbers. like New Horizons it's just three per day but we'll see. I'm going to assume that it's it's handled for now. Been lurking for a while how is Animal Crossing? It's good. Just kind of getting used to how different this is. I haven't played New Leaf. But yeah how's it going PJ Gamer? Uh, I'm just gonna go donate the fossils. The biggest thing is just this the sound effects are just not used to them. I'm expecting them to be what I've heard in New Horizons, so that's the thing that's tripping me out the most at the moment, is just that. But I do like playing this because I can look at my DS and the chat window is just like above. And if I want to, I can lean back in my chair. It's nice. <sighs> Who? I'm a bit of a night owl, drowsy in the daytime, you see. Welcome to the Oh Yes Museum. Aren't you our new mayor? I'm Blathers, the director of this museum. It is my honor entirely to make your acquaintance. Our museum exhibits the very best in archaeology, the natural sciences, and art, fine and otherwise. <laughs> there I go again. You'll find that each time I open my beak, ten words fall out when two will do. I do apologize, I've been trying to get better, but when I have a thought that takes flight... Never mind, let me start over with who? Pure words. This museum exhibits insects, fish, assess fossils, and artwork. The reason? To make oh yes as great as it can be. But here's our problem, we are currently exhibiting nothing. <laughs> it's, it's a tad embarrassing, but perhaps you can help? Hooty hoo, you can. If you donate your precious finds to the museum, I'd be eternally grateful, as would all of all. Yes! Eventually I will stop reading it like that. <laughs> okay. How may I be a service? Uh... Assess? Alright, so this is still the same. Yeah, and you can do multi. Okay, cool. More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. All of these are rare fossils, not your fan in our collection. What a surprise. You have a knack for finding fossils, don't you? I'm incredibly jealous. I hope I can convince you to donate them for all yeses cultural development. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating them, though. I mean, I'll do them one by one, just so we learn stuff. We want to learn stuff, right? What could it be? You're donating a Demetrodon tail? I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. I'm very glad to accept your donation. You have my thanks. If only we had other pieces, this fine creature would be complete. Oh. Okay, I guess in, in the assessment that's where it does it, maybe. Alright, I guess there's no point then. Both of these. Several things, I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. Uh, no, we're good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so far... It seems like you can do a lot more on, on day one in this than New Horizons. But then again, maybe because New Horizons was my first Animal Crossing game, I kind of struggled to figure out what to do. But it definitely seems like there's more available on day one in this. 
I don't know if this has always been the case, but... This seems like it has more. Okay, uh, I guess I should go fishing now. Since... Uh, are twigs a thing? Or are they... I'm sure they are. Because I was thinking of crafting an axe and getting wood, but... I haven't seen twigs drop from trees yet, or be on the ground. There's no fish in here, what am I doing? That's the other thing I gotta get used to, is just not running around. Because fish get scared. Let me try shaking the tree again. Yeah, hmm. I would have seen a twig on the ground if they did exist, so maybe they don't exist in this. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> Turn around. Uh, I might swap to this camera. Try a new approach because that's not working. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is going to take some getting used to. There's no gyro. And ru not, not gyro, sorry, rumble. So it has to be off audio cues now. I'm probably going to mess it up quite a bit. Okay, got it. I caught a pond smell, it could sure use a bath. <laughs> oh no, the puns! I forgot about the puns. I wonder my, what my encyclopedia says about my new couch. Okay. I caught a pale chub. It could use some sun. <laughs> I wonder what my encyclopedia says. Ah, that just reminds me of primary school, elementary school, whatever you want to call it. Our principal ended up banning the word chub. Ow. Oh. Drop it. Like, I, I, I was convinced she just didn't like children. Because there was this commercial for a security company here in Australia. Um, they were called Chubb Security. So, the commercial was like, have you got your Chubb alarm? Or something like that. I don't really remember it fully, but we as children just for some reason found the word hilarious, so... We, we just repeated Chabalam over and over again. And this principal got so annoyed at it, she effectively banned the word Chab. Had a whole assembly about it. 
And she would just do this for everything she found annoying. It was one of those situations where I'm sure when kids were behaving, she liked children, but when children were being children, I don't think she liked children. Which means I don't think she liked children, really. So, yeah. The shop does not offer a point system. So we ask for your understanding. Oh, how can I help you? Is this like a misconception? Yes, of course. What would you like to sell? Like, it seems like every time I come in here, there's just a caveat. Like, oh, by the way, our shop doesn't do this. I hope that's okay. Well, I've earned back the money I spent, so that's good. I'm gonna go check my tent. I wonder if there's storage in there. I'm just gonna put this fruit away. That fruit I'm just gonna hang on to if I want to move trees or whatever later. But then anything from this point I guess I'll sell. Oh, there's something in here. Sorry to intrude, Mayor. Wow, so exciting. It's just like you're camping, isn't it? It reminds me a lot of my childhood. Everyone would get all worked up and we'd roast marshmallows and make popcorn over the fire. We'd always burn the popcorn a bit, but you know something? That just made it extra delicious. Oh no, I've gotten all carried away again. I'm so sorry. Anyway, well, I, I brought you something nice. It's a lantern! I thought I'd seen one somewhere, so I searched through the storage closet at the town hall. And sure enough, it was in there. I thought it'd be perfect for you since you're sleeping in a tent. Okay, um, let me swap to this. There we go. From there, you can select the lantern and choose to display it in the room. Can you please get it out for me? Yes, just like that. Next, face the light and then press A to turn it on. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, super. Since it's old, I wasn't sure if it would work properly, but it looks like it works just fine. Oh, what else? Well, if you face the lantern and hold A whilst using the direction stick, it'll move backward or forward or rotate in the direction you like. Please try it wherever you want. Oh, is it a little bright outside to need the lantern on right now? If you don't need the lights on, just press A again to turn it off. Press Y if you want to put it back in your pockets. Well, that's all from me this time. Sorry to barge into you like this. I'll be taking my leave now. Oh, I see you're sleeping in a tent. Here, have a light, not a bed. I'm just gonna put it in the corner. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is just all a, sc a big scam. Yeah, that doesn't appear to be twigs in the sun. Hmm. Okay. So I wonder how you get your hands on, uh... I 
on an axe. I mean, maybe this is a day two thing. I'm not going to be doing time travel in the sense of like going one day to another. I'm going to treat this like I'm playing this properly. So we'll do what we can today. Oh no! Ah! Crap. Oh, they are so quick. You can't outrun them. Well. I don't think they sell medicine either. Uh, let's talk to the villagers, because sometimes I remember they do help you out. Well, Will, this isn't some kind of natural look you're trying out, is it? Not to worry, a little medicine will fix you right up. Do you have any? What can I do for you, Will? <laughs> Talk to me. Ever heard the saying, spending money like it grows on trees? In our town, you can. Shake a cherry tree and then carry the fruit to the recycling shop. You can sell it there. To shake a tree face and... Yeah, okay. You'll find shells on the beach you can sell, too. Nature is so amazing. I don't even know how to make the sound effect they're trying to make. <laughs> Wait, you think... It, what is that? Is that... Splatoon? No. <laughs> it looks like a Splatoon car, I'm like... Is that the sound that they make of Splatoon characters? I feel like if I have to make that sound, I would have to goggle. Ah, not again! In the house, in the house! <laughs> I don't think you can get stung twice, surely not. Jeez. Okay, I'm alright. What are the odds? Oh, I haven't learnt my lesson. Oh my god! <laughs> Why did this keep happening? In the house! Uh-oh, she's not home. I'm screwed, I'm screwed. <laughs> Am I just blind now? I got stung by bees. All right. It's, I guess it's, I guess. <laughs> I guess I can't become blind. Okay. I like the sound effect. It, it sounds very Mario like. It is Katrina. Ki hamota ki hamota ta yi he ta ta ta. Oh my, are you surrounded by the bright aura of many stars? I, Katrina, will reveal your future and the way to capture fortunes for a mere 500 bells. Alright. Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Have a seat. Oh. Uh, yes, it has come into view. The curator of a museum sips a cup of coffee to wake in the afternoon. On this cup, the mark of a pigeon. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes. I see good fortune upon friendship. Iconic accessory. This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. May happiness find you and yours. 
And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. <laughs> okay. Bad times are times that are bad. How poetic. You would think that I've learned my lesson with these trees. Wait, what's that symbol over there? Uh, just for reference, like, on the minimap there's a recycle symbol. Retail, get extra bells today. Wait, what does it say? Get extra bells today if you sell the following dress. Mrs. Reese, ma'am, I have something I'd like to sell. Oh, hello, Timmy. What did you bring for me today? I have a tape deck I'd like you to look at. Okay, I can take that off your hands for 175 bells. Or I could, you could set your own price and put it back in the back for somebody else to buy. Which would you like? Nah, that amount's completely fine. I'd rather sell it outright. It's just something a customer brought into our shop. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Okay, understood. Is this a pawn shop? Thank you. With your help, we've been able to recycle and refurbish so many very things. So very many things, jeez. I can't read. If your customers keep bringing you items like this, feel free to come and sell them here. Of course, well then, I'll be off. Ah, sorry to make you wait. I must take off now, but please come by my shop to chat when you get the chance. Love to see you. Okay, I'm saying... I'm not saying pornography. I'm saying porn. It's the Australian accent. Leave me alone. I don't know how, how I would say it. Like, if I have to say it American style, it's like porn versus, you know, the A. Pawn. Even that just sounds like a southerner saying porn. I don't know. You know what I mean. <laughs> Why does chat always have to pick on me with the accent? It's not the accent, the words just sound the same. I mean, you can enunciate it in a way where it sounds a little different. Yep, English is magical. Welcome to the recycle shop retail. Oh my, would you happen to be the new mayor? I'm so happy you decided to stop by a humble little shop. What an honor. Our shop buys items and furniture to resell here. We'll also pay a premium for any high value items listed on the board in front of the shop. In addition to selling to us outright, you can set your own price and put items on display for others to buy. So, Mayor, if you have something you no longer need, please feel free to bring it by for a fair price. Yeah, not yet. The common bed belongs to Frigga from here in- oh yes! The asking price is 120 bells, yes. I'll take it. Thank you for your purchase. I need a bed. And this is a storage cabinet. This item belongs to Vesta from OES. 500 bells. I'll take it. This is all the essentials, I'm guessing. I'm not gonna take the chair. 800 bells. Alright, I'll take it. Turn the tent into a home. Yes, Will. Go live in a tent. Please be our mayor. Here's a tent. 
You can sleep on the floor. We're not going to even provide you a sleeping bag out of courtesy. It's okay, I solved the problem myself. Let me, let me move this first. I mean, as long as we can... Store stuff in it, that's the important thing. Oh. I mean, I kind of wanted it. Can I pull it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. I mean, I can't rotate it, can I? Okay, hang on. How do I make it face the correct way? <laughs> Crap. Can I rotate it? Okay, there we go. There it is. That's all we want. Okay, excellent. Uh, uh, this doesn't have functionality. It's just a cosmetic storage. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. Like, our, our tent is looking like a home, anyway. So, it's a step in the right direction. I suppose I should go explore the beach. Wait, what's that on... Oops. <laughs> I just took out the flowers. I need to be more careful. This was a huge problem for me playing this game. I mean, New Horizons. I just kept destroying the flowers. What is this? Oh, it's like a... Oh, it's this dude. Hey pal, is this your first time here? Well, welcome. The name's Harvey. You can call me Harv for short. Or Harv for long. Haha. <laughs> Plain old Harvey's fine too. Now, some people might tell you that car camping isn't real camping, but I say fooey to that. We've got a real nice crowd here, just lovely from all over. They come to relax and meet new folks. So don't be shy, come by any old time and say hello. Oh, I almost forgot, as the camp host, I run a little shop here. It's not much, just a humble little outpost, but you're welcome to browse our wares anytime. Just one thing, your bells are no good here, we only accept meow coupons. Anyway, nice to meet you. I hope to see you again soon. Toodles. Oh, no. Ah, uh, so you're interested in the towel rack. Nah. I mean, this is the kind of stuff... This is the kind of stuff that, uh... I should probably save up the coupons for until I have a, a house. Unless there's something that I'm like, oh no, that's great. For now, I'll I'll leave it be.
Hey, what did I find? Boxing mat. Okay. That's uh, that's probably something else to make the house look nice. Although, I mean, we'll see how it looks, I don't know. Oh, I don't have a net, damn it. Hey, not bad. I mean, it, it suits. Definitely suits. Can I do some customization? You've collected your first Meow coupons from the machine. New town initiatives are available daily, so be sure to check TPC option. Often. You may use Meow coupons to purchase items at Harvey's Playground or exchange them for bells using the post office ABD. Until tomorrow morning. Exchange five shells or corals. Um, send someone a gift using a, let a letter. With a little something extra. Okay. Let's do the shell one. That should be straightforward. We'll go back into cinematic mode. That's five, right? I think it is. Eh, just in case. Oh, drop it. Oh, they don't order stack? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go sell these. I am missing the stacking, not gonna lie. I just, I find it curious that it's not like as if inventory management is a, a new thing at this point. I mean, games in the 90s had better inventory management than Animal Crossing. I've just never, it's the one thing that I've never understood is like, you can't purchase things in quantities, and just, man, the inventory management. But I guess maybe they do that just to pad out the game a bit more, so there's more to do in a day, and time passes slower. Sell. Jeez, that's not a lot. Okay, well, anyway. A kitty dress up. Oh, these are. No. They're actually selling these items. I can get a trash can. Oh, yeah, I probably should have swapped it to the screen. Um, but. I'll show you what I sold. It's pretty much all the sand dollars I had in my inventory. So. I mean, let me just do some organization here. There we go. 
Let's go see the Abel sisters. I haven't popped in here. We might be able to change our look as well. Hello, welcome to the handmade fashion palace of the Abel sisters. Are you by any chance a new mayor everyone's talking about? Oh, everyone around town has been buzzing about you. So you are quite easy to recognize. As you can see, our store mostly specializes in handmade clothes. If you'd like accessories, please look in the accessory shop that's right next door. Okay, hang on. I just have to talk to it uh, every day and we're okay. Sorry about that. She always gets like that whenever she's focused on something. Okay, that's fine. Like, I know the, I know the deal. Uh, I don't mind this. If you like any designs, you can take them home for free. Also, you can put your own designs here. People in town like them may take them home as well. If anything strikes you fancy, let me know. Hang on. So, can I... Redesign. Oh, we're gonna do this. Um. But does it have like a custom color? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. As close as we can get to custom color. Okay, so... Can't tell what we're looking at here. Oh, so you can't set a design separately for the sleeve. That's a little disappointing. I mean, maybe there's more of an option. Alright, hang on. Let me switch to this view. Oh, here we go. This fill. This one is, is as feature rich as uh as the Switch version. Yeah, that's it's a bit unfortunate. Why would you want the same design on the shoulders? It's, it's just weird. I might not do this now. I reckon just do that. Do plain clothing. It's kind of a shame how limited it is. Um, anyway. Just doing a logo thing. 
Shouldn't take long. Like, I think with a circle, it should be straightforward enough to do. Oh. Okay. That's the undo button. I mean, I should have expected limitations, it's okay. Just I'm trying and being very careful here. I'm getting rid of the white seam. Crap, undo. So this is gonna be very rough. I'm just gonna go with it's surprising how I did that. I mean, I think this is just—it's gonna not look great, no matter what. But you know. I mean, maybe when it's zoomed out, it'll be okay. I could add more detail if it wouldn't just be like, you know. Oh, there's only one level of undo that is, that is frightening. That is kind of frightening. I don't know if this is helping the cause or making it worse. I'll fix up anything that looks weird. Just want to see like how blending looks on it. They're taking care of all the important things, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I, I think in... In uh, New Horizons I spent like an hour on my t-shirt thing. Okay. Oh, that, <laughs> that doesn't look good. I think I need to make the symbol smaller. Okay, hang on. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that didn't look great. Okay, hang on. There, so that cuts out most of the size. I still don't like it, but... Oops.
This is easier to fix. Just for for go the halo. Okay, and then Jesus is so hard. I think the worst part about this is the one level of undo. I think that'll have to do. I mean, there's gonna be texture stretching, it is what it is. <laughs> it just doesn't... Alright, you know what? It's fine. Uh, uh, I guess I'm okay with this. I wish I could control what it looked like on the back, but whatever. Oh, this is different. We deal in hats and accessories in this department of the store. What is this? Hockey mask. It's not a bad choice. I will, I will take it. What's this one? Just as mask? I'll take it too. Okay, the the thing is, I'm I'm currently very ugly with my beasting, so <laughs> How does the hobby I mean I might just leave this because it looks horrendous and funny, but yeah, no, but you can see my eyes. You can see my eyes. Alright. Yeah, I mean, this, this covers my hideous face. <laughs> this doesn't... This doesn't look good. <laughs> oh no. Alright, let's go back to cinematic mode. How am I liking New Leaf so far? There's a lot more to do in this one at the start, Cat. Though, there are a couple of limitations that I'm already like, hmm. Like when you pick up stuff, it doesn't auto stack it. Is one, and I haven't quite figured out how to get an axe or anything. It doesn't appear like there's twigs or anything. Like you shake a tree and nothing drops, so so far I only have a fishing rod and a uh, shovel. So I assume tomorrow I'll probably get more stuff. My time zone is set to like European time because... Well, if I play this during my time zone it just wouldn't work. So, we're in winter. The sound effects as well, I'm just not used to. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like the hat. But I guess this is the best I can do with personal clothing. What starter fruit did I get? Would you believe it? But I got cherry, again. Coincidentally. Wait, what is this? Weird. There's nothing inside. Okay. Is there anything even here? I don't think there is. I haven't seen a shadow. Oh, 
I like a couple of my villagers. I got this monkey that I like. Not sure about the sheep. Did I answer on the fruit? Uh, yeah, I did. Cherry. I got the same as what I got in New Horizons. Ads must have come very on time. Yeah, I mean, pretty much unless I'm scheduling them, they're just kind of annoying. They're going to be pre-roll when people come to the stream. I can't win either way, so... Did you end up catching how I uh, made the farm look in the end in Stardew? I was pretty happy with it. Shop? Okay. Why? Why do you always talk about your limitations every time? Like that's just stop. Okay, um, uh, I'm gonna keep the scallop because I remember there was the otter in the other one, so I don't know, we'll see. The problem I'm having here is I don't really have storage. You did see some huge progress on Jinder Island, but I don't think you saw the end, hopefully it'll be on YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do something with it. Um, I think when I do the 100 day video, the introduction to it will be like, Hey, this is my farm after 500 days, and let's go over how it got there, I guess. Or I could just forget about it. I don't know, I haven't quite decided. But I mean, the streams are being published there, like, every second day, so... The streams will be up there at the very least. But don't forget about- uh, the problem is it takes ages, like... It's not that I'm forgetting about it, it's like, scripting this thing is... ridiculous. I have to sit there, I have to scroll through the video, and then, like, write... what happened. It'll take a while, I am doing it. I think I'm up, I'm about halfway through the the first hundred, so I am doing it. It's just it's gonna take a while, and then I have to actually record it. Anyway, the problem I'm having right now is I don't really have anywhere to store stuff, and. uh... Yeah. I have the perfect narrator voice, well thank you. I do have a very different tone of voice if I'm actually reading something and trying to explain something. I used to have people in my course back in the day like get me to uh, do like tutorials. Because we had, like, assignments where you had to create tutorial videos, so I was, like, the voiceover for most of them. But you won't find them anywhere. <laughs> they were never put on the internet. They were just student assignments. Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Oh Yes Museum. 
Hmm? Who? How may I be a service? Make a donation. Oh wait, right, identify first. Keep forgetting! Assess. Let me just see here. Hmm, well, hi. Hey, hey. Eureka. Most certainly, it's a stego skull. We don't have this fossil in our collection. Would you consider donating it? Okay. Wonderful, I'll add it to the collection. Yeah, my thanks. Cool, if only we had the other pieces, it would be a fine creature, would be complete. May I offer further assistance? No. Um, but yeah, I think it worked out pretty well, like... I did a few more things on the island house, and then kind of spent the rest of the time just doing up the rest of the normal farm. Like, I did some minor cosmetic stuff in each of the barn and coops, and then I rearranged the crystallarium, so I have a shed that's effectively Wario's throne room that I thought turned out really well. So, and then I did ambient lighting on, like, the last... <laughs> The last half of the final day. I just made sure that overall was kind of lit up somewhat nicely. So, I'm happy with how it turned out overall. I mean, I may have messed up the, the first year in terms of getting everything done, but everything else I think looks great. I think it'll be hard to top that <laughs> for me. I'm not saying other people can't top it. Just, for me personally, that was a lot of effort I put into the visuals on it. Makes for a perfect cliffhanger. What? <laughs> what does? Caught a barbell steed. It just needs a barbell saddle. I wonder what the encyclopedia says about my new catch. I'm not completing everything in year one. Oh, well, here's the thing about this video format. Do they do the first hundred days or do they do the first year? Because I, I realized that a hundred days is not one year. Like, you get an extra four days, don't you? And then by the time you get into year five, it kind of, like, shifts alignment quite a bit. Could just do 112 days, because that's the year. Could name it play one year. No, because I, I played... <sighs> I played 500 days total, so it wouldn't work. So I'll just- I'll just stick to the format. It's like, I did 500 in-game days. So I'm gonna split it up into lots of 500. Some people are doing 100 days with the whole video, and some do 100 days only, so they stop midwinter. But yeah, I mean, I did 500 total, so I'll stick to the formula. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, right. This is your new cat machine. Yeah, the, this is, instead of the coupons, oh, I already got them, okay, and so sure. I mean, I think I'll just stick to the 100 days thing. It's kind of funny just how the story, how the story is going to play out is like, I mean, all that, those shenanigans with the stupid sunfish, 
it writes out so perfectly because the very first thing I catch is a sunfish. And so I have put extra emphasis that I caught the sunfish on the first day. I just keep repeating it, like, it's so great. As, as unfortunate as it is, I can laugh on it now because for this video it's going to be funny. Just because, you know. The very first thing I catch is something that ultimately screwed me over. I mean, it wasn't the, the only reason I didn't get it, but it was definitely one of the big ones. It's kind of funny, just uh, the mix of bad and good luck. The one thing that I need to do is just watch a few of them and see how they're paced, because... I've seen some that are like kind of a total recount, and then others that like are very, very succinct, and each day is like, they say maybe five seconds worth of dialogue and no more. So I haven't quite decided yet, but I, for now I'm treating it like, I'm just gonna treat it like a diary, and then I'll decide like, okay, maybe this is a bit too long and condense it. I caught a cop. I really seized the DM. Oh my god. These puns. When I upload a draft of it, cat, I'll show you it. And then you let me know what you think. Especially since this is like my, the first, I guess, scripted video that I'll be making. I guess technically the TikToks I made were scripted, but not to this extent. I caught a crucial carp. What a crucial catch. Well, uh, at least the puns are different to New Horizons. No, but I have no way of getting this. I don't have a slingshot. Why does it have to tease me? There's no way I can get this, right? Like, there's, no, there's no way I can make a slingshot right now. This is just... Nope. <laughs> I can't get this. No one sold me a slingshot, and I can't craft one, so... Oh, that was... I hate it when that happens. This is so much harder to do because I don't have the rumble. Wait a minute. Don't I have to oh I have to donate to these these to the museum. I just realized. <laughs> I've been selling them. That's okay, I mean it's day one. It's not like some of these are rare. I think I've got common ones so far. I can't even fix my face, it's just there's no medicine available. So I'm just gonna be this hideous creature that has to wear this jester mask to hide. Yeah, see, this is one of my villagers, this mouse. I got a mouse in the other island as well, which is kind of funny. Didn't get the chicken this time.
<laughs> Poor blathers, we keep waking them up. Oh dear, pardon me. Okay, uh, make a donation. Okay. Several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes, we'll gladly take these off your hands. There's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. Okay. That's it. I mean, I think I got a good start on this already. Definitely a better start than New Horizons. Like, at this point in New Horizons, I did not have my tent looking this nice already. But I guess maybe because I know what I'm doing this time around. <laughs> Just keep trickling. I have to get the 10,000 gold. Ugh. Or, yeah, whatever the currency is. Bells. Okay, the other thing it wanted me to do was to send a letter and attach a present, so I'll just attach the t shirt that I had. As I'm gonna be wearing this one, so. Oh, this is a new character, Pelly. Welcome to the Oh Yes post office. What can I help you with today? Uh, send mail. Person in oh yes. Oh, what? How does this work? Ask about a present. Would you like to connect to the internet and download any available limited only items? Alright. I mean, I may as well, like, the service, I believe, it's gonna shut down soon, so, let's see. There's nothing. Okay. I tried. Um, so how do I use this? Send a mail. A person. Drop anything you want to send. What? Okay. Instructions not clear. Oh, this is a money thing. Okay, hang on. Let me have a look. I have no idea. This letter? Read. Okay, so, you know. Present. Instruction manual. <laughs> really? That's not much of a present. Throw away. Drop anything you want to send into the red box, but like... Okay, I have no- I have no idea how this works. I might have to look this up. Give me a sec, chat. Uh, how to send letter in New Leaf. 
first must obtain stationery. Okay. So we need to go buy. <laughs> Here's a gift learned to play, I know, right? Hey, we have a present. It's a present so you can get good. It's like the most backhanded gift I've gotten in the game. Bathtub paper? I guess this is what this was. There it is. Okay, I'm writing a letter on bath bathtub paper. Go figure. Um, Frigga? Who do we want to send it to? Let's send it to Flip. I like Flip. Dear Flip. Wait, I need my stylus. I'm doing this with my thumbs, it's not working. <laughs> do a flip. Okay, I will do that. This is, this is the greatest letter I've ever sent. Dear Flip, do a flip. Sincerely, Will. <laughs> um, hang on. Can I attach something? How do, how do you attach a present? Stationary. Okay, hang on. I can't believe this is not explained. With presents. With a present. How do you attach presents? Thank you. Okay. Okay, hold on. This is- this is quite the process. Now I need wrapping paper. Okay. Right, now... Wrap. The t-shirt that I used to wear. Okay. Now... Letters... Rewrite... But then how do you attach it? <laughs> Drag the envelope... To inventory. Wrap the item. What? It's so unclear. Done. Aha! Drag and drop. Alright. Never mind. I figured it out. Congratulations, I learned how to write a letter. <laughs> that was... That was such a lengthy process, dude. Okay. I feel like such an idiot right now. Okay, uh, let's swap back to this view. Send the mail. The person. But see, this is the thing, you write the letter and you address it to someone, so what does it need to ask? 
isn't that a redundant question? Like, it would make sense if I was writing the letter here, but I'm not. The letter's already written, so they already know who it's going to based on who it's addressed to. Okay, anyway, that's, that's done. I send something with a present, so now I can go get my, uh, my other daily coupon. <laughs> I want to fix my face, but no one's selling medicine. There's no way to craft it. At least I don't think so. I got three beehives pretty much back to back. It's as unlucky as you can get. Okay. I think that's it. I don't have any other daily things. I want to insert a comment. It's fine. What? It's frozen. Hang on. There it is. There's more. Reel him in initiative. Uh, catch... 20 fish. Remove one piece of litter for the sea and rivers. Alright. Hey, Laura, you're up late. Damn, you're up late. How's it going? Did you uh, get affected by the freak weather at all? You know what, the, the look of the beanie has kind of grown on me. I guess because I'm more used to the graphics now. I just need to get rid of this mask as soon as I can fix my face. What? <laughs> what? What? God. There we go. Oh, just got it. I don't think I've donated this, so I'm gonna go donate it. You went to sleep super early, didn't take sleeping meds, so here you are. Ah. You live super high up next to a river, so if it floods here at all, all of Australia would be under. Gotcha. This is so hard for me because I used to rely on the vibration of the controller to do this and it's just not here. At least there's no achievement in this to do it a hundred times in a row. That drove me insane in New Horizons. This is going to take some time to get used to. I 
caught a save butterfly. I didn't even use in that. This isn't New Horizons. No, nah, it's not. It's uh, New Leaf. It's the one before it. I never played New Leaf. I played New Horizons. This is the one on uh, 3DS. <laughs> Stop taunting me with the balloons. I can't get it. I mean, I asked. I figured... I'd either play New Horizons again, because I did get a replacement switch. And so I could start a new file if I wanted to. But I mean, I think most people said New Leaf, just because one, I haven't played it, and it's new content. I mean, old new content. New content from a streaming perspective, because I've never done it. So... No work? Oh shit, right. <laughs> What time? Oh my god, alright. Yeah, this happens when I play Animal Crossing. Just like Stardew, I just lose track of time. Yeah, I do have work tomorrow. It is Friday though, so it should be okay. I had to change the time zone on this, so that's probably why I'm thrown off. <laughs> like, uh, looking at a DS screen and not the computer. So I don't see the clock. Did I think it was 11? No. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. I just kind of lost track of time because I haven't been looking at the computer too much. How am I reading Twitch chat? By looking at the computer every now and then. I didn't say at all, I meant like, not that, not as often as I would be if I was playing a PC game, let's put it that way. Or like, having the capture source on the computer screen. Cause here I'm, I'm looking at the DS, I'm holding a DS in my hand cause... I got uh, a DS that has a capture card in it, so... I quite like playing games like this, because it's... I can lean back. That's the nice thing. It feels more comfortable to play like this. I wish I could do the same with my Switch, but I can't. Has to be docked. Okay. Do I have anything to sell while I'm here? I guess I should probably just sell the squid. I need I need a, a way to store stuff. That's like I think the number one priority moving forward. struggle is you like playing Switch and Nintendo games on your couch, which your computer is not next to. Haven't worked out how to set that up for streaming. Uh, I mean, there's probably a way to do it. I mean, the way would, to do it would be to, I guess... No, but you wouldn't be able to capture it. 
Unless you had like a really long HDMI cable or you had, um, like something that ran through the walls, I guess. You can get those, but it's kind of like a very expensive thing to do. The only other way would be with a laptop, pretty much. You just need a computer, it doesn't have to be powerful. What is this crazy goal? Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a joke goal. It's not a real goal. I mean, really? There's not that many humans on the planet. <laughs> it's just a joke. I mean, what? Like... I'm ambitious. I want everyone on planet Earth to watch me. And then some. Like, they're just gonna have to create more humans. I want to be eternal. I don't know, should I make it something realistic? Uh, to be honest, I should probably just turn it off. Is it appearing anywhere? I... My goal is one billion? No, it's not. It's like... 999 billion. I just set it to a really high number. To be funny. I don't know, chat. I don't think follower goals are... I think they're import- I think they're overrated, sorry. They're not important. I kind of minced words there. I know some streamers might not agree, but, like, I believe in having goals that you can control and not having goals that are kind of out of your control, if that makes sense. Like, the goal of getting to, say, 500 followers is nice and all, but it's something that really isn't in your control, and if you don't get it, it's not really a fault of yours. It's like, you could do everything possible but never get there. And you'll feel bad for not achieving your goal. Versus a goal like something, I'm going to stream, say, five days a week and be consistent. Right? That's a better goal. And, yeah. It's also not the right metric to go by on Twitch as well. So, I think it's useless as a goal, and I don't think it's the right metric to pay attention to either. Because the more important metric is average viewership, not follower count. Like, it's kind of... You could have a million followers, but then your average view account is like two. Or you could have someone that has a hundred followers, but then their average view account is 30. Right? Which is the better streamer? Or I guess the more healthy stream, I should say. You knew I'd probably have a joke all but that amount. I guess otherwise people wouldn't know it's a joke. Yeah, exactly. Like, I made it so ridiculous that it has to be obviously a joke. But yeah... Having goals is good, and you should absolutely have those goals, particularly if you want to be a content creator. There's nothing wrong with having goals that are like... Okay, a follower-based goal. You can have them, for sure, but I don't think they should be your only goal. That's all. It's just because it's stuff that's outside of your control. So... If you're gonna do that, you should probably just do... I'd say at least four other goals that have nothing to do with other people. It's just you doing things and you being able to do things. Because those rely on you and you only, and if you don't get them done, at the end of the day, that's on you.
It's more healthier to have goals that are... Yeah, you have control over it. What? How did I not get that? Alright, whatever. Uh, how's... These first few days are not gonna be great until I get my storage, so... There's gonna be constant back and forth. I miss Blathers telling you facts about the things you donate. I do miss that. Okay, hang on. let me have a look at how this looks. I haven't actually gone in here and seen. Oh. Yeah, this looks visually nice too. Let me swap to this, no, not this camera, this camera. After the rain, the air is really nice and cool. It's pretty nice and cool here too. I went out for dinner with my brother, and yeah. It cooled down and there was just a nice breeze and no clouds in the sky. It's like just how summer should be. I mean, summer for us, like, I know most other people would probably complain that it's too hot. But I thought it was nice this afternoon. It's not as big as the other one, but that's to be expected. I don't have any bugs. I don't have... Let's see how this looks like. It's the only two I can look at. The art one. Oh boy. It's in this game too. Okay. I can kind of appreciate the extra detail that they went into in New Horizons now. It's not to say this looks bad. But man, did they go above and beyond for New Horizons with the museum. Now that I see this. The museum in New Horizons is just beautiful. This is still nice looking, just... I, I have come to appreciate now New Horizons museum a bit more. I don't have a bug net at the moment, so I, I can't have anything in there yet. And I haven't run into the, the, the scam artist Fox either. So, there's no art pieces yet. We'll look at them when the time comes. I like the music in this, though. Like, it's not- it's- I- I like the music in New Horizons as well. It's just- I guess hearing this. It's a fresh take. For me, at least. Uh, 
I can't remember if I donated that to muse the museum. Probably not. We'll see. Wait, what was that sound? Oh, it's you. I can barely keep my eyes open. How are you still awake, Will? If this were a job and I was your boss, I'd tell you to knock off early and come back fresh tomorrow. Okay. Just, really? Like, did you, uh, were you eavesdropping on the conversation I was having with my chat about me having to work tomorrow? Like, is, is that it? Now you're, you're telling me to go to sleep? I mean, damn, Frigga. Can't have a private conversation on this island. I mean, town. It's not an island. Kind of island looking, but it's not. They know. I know. Oh, it's a goldfish. Okay. I guess the replacement for Blathers saying facts about the fish is like you have you can look it up manually in the encyclopedia. God damn it! Scared the fish. I probably should have gone for the big one. You sleep. All right. Good night, Laura. Yeah, I should probably do it too. I will. I've time boxed myself. Eight more minutes. <laughs> I need, I need the rumble to do this properly. Oh, this is gonna get on my nerves. I have to get used to this. one. Course mackerel, holy mackerel. Alright, that one. Oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, get rid of a pond smelt. Alright. Oh, inventory problems. I'm keeping the wasp nest because those were used for medicine in New Horizons, and if they're still used for medicine here, that's going to be useful, so I, I have to hang on to it. Okay, still complaining about his head being too small. I don't know. I thought the head was fine. But I guess not. It looks like there's a building that's shut down that'll- I reckon that'll probably be the coffee house. Yeah, okay. There we go. Hmm? <laughs> 
I wonder if my tools break or if they're permanent. Because, I mean, I've been using them for a while and they haven't broken. But I guess... If they were to break, there's no way to replace them because the shop doesn't sell them again. I think... These might be permanent, which... Huh. <laughs> I wonder why they chose them to be destructible in New Horizons, then. Yeah. I guess maybe that's why there's no twigs on the ground, because... There's no need to construct tools. If that's the case, I mean, cool. And you can't sell the tools either. Let me- let me check something. You can't- Okay, hang on. You can't drop stuff in here. Let me see if you can drop stuff outside. If you can't drop the tool, then I think these are... These are permanent. Which, cool. I, I'm on board with that. Well, apparently you can't drop it. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, chat. I would love to keep playing this, but I do have work tomorrow. So, we're gonna leave it here for tonight. But I hope you enjoyed, uh, yeah, today's stream as we, we started playing Oracle of Ages and, uh, this. So, we'll, uh, do more Animal Crossing tomorrow and maybe some Oracle of Ages Tomorrow, depending on what time I finish work, uh, I was planning to do a bunch of game demos because Steam Next Fest is on, so I downloaded a bunch of demos like I did last year. So we can check out like a variety of different games. So uh, I'm definitely going to do that this weekend. I'll try to do it tomorrow. If I don't, then it'll be Zelda and Animal Crossing. But otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll do Next Fest and Animal Crossing. It's going to be one or the other. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed yourself. If you're new to the stream, thanks for checking out the stream. And if you want to find me and check out more of my content, go to YouTube, search for the channel name, stuff will pop up. And uh, I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy. So, hope you do do that. Uh, you can go to my website, shambles.gg, if you want links to anything I do. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video and getting this far. And if you want to see more of this kind of content, just drop a like or a comment and it lets me know people are enjoying this and to do more of it in the future. But yeah, you don't have to. Alright chat, thank you so much for watching, appreciate you all for hanging out and allowing me to do my thing as usual, so.